folks. I'm taking too long on these showings. I got to go faster, but there is just so much nice merchandise to show you. I just keep going on and on about it. All right, let's see how fast I can do this. I have a 40 pound sandblaster. This is a pneumatic tool that you hook up to your compressor. It's got the media already in it. It has wheels on it so that it's easy to move around. There is a valve. Now I had a caller call and tell me something about the nozzle tips that there was maybe uh, different sizes you could put on this. I only see one nozzle, one nozzle tip on here, right? Oh, is this how you change it? Yeah, we, have some more. we do have more nozzles, yeah. tips. Where are they, in our spare part box or something? Oh, good, I was even unaware of that part. It's ceramic, that tip is made out of ceramic. Huh, okay, I see. It's got one nozzle tip in there, I got it. I know what, I know what he's talking about now. Uh, call, uh, $90 retail price, call and give me a bid on that. Okay, on the table. I have a Napler, Nailer, Napler Staler, a Stapler Nailer, a $25 retail price from Harbor Freight, another pneumatic tool. This will drive both staples and nails. And speaking of nails, I got some. Now, if you think you need these nails, these are a, a roll of nails for a roofing nailer. So if you have a roofing nailer, what's the length of those? They look like one and three quarter inch roofing nails. And this goes in those coil roofing nailers. So I'm, I'm selling right here one, two, three, four, five coils. I don't know how far that'll get you on your job. Maybe it's just a little, maybe you just need to do some little roof repairs. I don't know. I do have more of these by the way. Call and give me a bid. Tell me what you think these five rolls of one and three quarter inch roofing nails are selling for. I want to know. Okay, also on the table I got a color goodie. That's all I'm going to call it. I'm going a, I'm to a tilt this. I don't want to spill all these. But look, it's just loose crayons in a variety of colors. And loose, uh, these are Crayola markers. They're called pip squeaks. They're washable. And look, seahorse green. All kinds of colors like the 64 crayons. And these are not dried out at all. See, plenty of color in there. Call and give me a bid. What does this sell for? Maybe three fifty, maybe five dollars. More than that? How much research? Five dollars is what it says. Fifteen dollars. Is that right? These are some nice markers. I guess you can do your nails with them. Will you call and tell me what they're worth? I know you ain't gonna bid fifteen dollars on that. I'll be lucky to get two, huh? Three, maybe. All right, I've got a countertop mirror. It's got three times magnification on one side and one times magnification on the other. Perfect for your dressing table. You call and tell me what that's worth. I've got an Nespresso maker. This is by Nestle. This is your tank reservoir. Here's the only condition I could find on this. This little reservoir right here that holds your clear water has a crack in it but it's not all the way through and it's not into the water compartment it's right that could probably break out and still not hurt it this clamps down that's your water reservoir then it takes the little capsules of coffee now this machine retails for three hundred dollars um, you know I have a similar one I have one at home that I use and I just love it because the thing stays on all the time it makes a cup of coffee anytime you want it there is the one I have there's a little adapter that you can put in there so you can put a spoonful of your own coffee in there. I don't know how this thing works. It's a $300 retail price. What is this? Circles and rectangulars. It's rectangles. It's like a ge geometry lesson. I've got two of the arts and craft lamps. These are porch lights and I really like them because they've got cast iron bodies. It's got a lot of decorative detail on it. The little screws there are square headed. They look like hand hammered nails made by a blacksmith. This whole thing looks like a blacksmith. Um, it, it, it is from the arts and crafts style of the 20s, the teens and the 20s. Notice that there's roofs over them. I like the back side of them. They're even solid on the back. Now this, those are exterior light fixtures and this is an interior light fixture that would go on your ceiling and it has a pull chain on it so that you can uh, turn it on and off. It's, uh, uh, it too has a white glass globe on it this is in an alabaster finish, white glass. The retail price on these are 50, 50, and 40, right? 
$140. You call and tell me what you think that's worth. Now next to that, I've got a laser-guided parking system. This hooks up to your garage door opener or your overhead light. And some, I, I'm not exactly sure how it works. It's, it points a laser beam so you know where to park. So that you park in exactly the same place every time. And it's good for two cars, right? It does a two-car garage. And it's 20 bucks. You call and tell me what that's worth. Hey, I got a brand new rotary tumbler for you from uh, Harbor Freight. This is a dual drum rotary tumbler. They retail this item for $30, so you give me a bid. Hey, I got a tile saw for you. Now, these are really nice. This is a chrome uh, a portable tile saw. I'm looking for the handle. Okay, there's the handle. Handle there so you can carry it around easily. I believe this, this top bench tilts so that you can cut at a bevel. Let me spin this around. It's a wet dry tile saw. Here's your tray of water in there. Yes, you can tilt the, the bench as you can see it's taped down with fiberglass tape. Retail price on this item $70 at Harbor Freight. I, this is brand new, never been used. It even has the blade in it. So you call and tell me what that's worth. $70 retail price. Well that's the 10 items on table number three.